Welcome back to San Antonio Living. As we head towards summertime, Chef Adrian is going to help us lighten things up in the kitchen with a fresh and healthy fish dish. Take a look. Good morning, San Antonio. You know, I'm sure you've noticed the weather's been heating up a little bit outside and it's been beautiful, but get ready. So we're going to start lightening up the menus over the next few weeks. Today it's going to be fish. We're doing some cod, which is a nice and meaty fish. It's almost like chicken. And I've got some Pacific wild salmon as well that we're going to pan sear. Now I firmly believe everyone should know how to make at least one good sauce to have under their belt. When company comes over, you have to entertain your friends and family or your special date. And they're simple, fun, fast, easy to make, colorful, really healthy, and um, they taste pretty good if I do say so myself because I made them up. So let's dive right in. Today we're going to be using some of my favorite oranges, the blood orange, into a nice balsamic and pomegranate glaze. And then we'll go a little heartier with our tomato, watermelon, and basil sauce right over our salmon. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my sauces started first because that way they'll have time to simmer and really marry together. Sometimes if you don't give things enough time to develop, you can just taste the separation in them, in the flavors, and that's never fun, because then it gets kind of weird. Because we are doing like watermelon with garlic and tomatoes, which to most people's ears might sound kind of odd, but they do complement each other very well. So I've got some garlic that I just chopped up here. I've got a shallot, a little bit of shallots I'm doing. The shallots are like a little hybrid of garlic and onions, believe it or not. So when do you know your oil is ready and hot enough to add the food? You'll see these tiny little bubbles at the bottom of the skillet. And that means it's going to be hot enough. I don't know if y'all can see them in there, but they're there. And watermelon has a really high natural sugar concentrate to it, so it'll caramelize really well here in the skillet with all the uh, other stuff that's in there and everything. And then we'll add in our cherry tomatoes. Just let that cook till your tomatoes start to blister and you'll smash it all up. And you can either leave it chunky or you can run it through a food processor and make it nice and smooth. And we'll just a little salt and pepper in there as well. So right now I'm just sauteing up the shallots and a little oil. I've got some garlic in there as well. I threw in some balsamic vinegar and I've got the um, blood oranges simmering in there too. And I also squeezed some of the citrus out of them as well. Vinegar is going to be pretty acrid and acidic, so add a little honey to mellow it out. And then your pomegranate seeds and let it simmer until it thickens up. And on the medium heat, with a couple tablespoons of oil, pan sear your cod about three minutes aside. And the same goes for the salmon. Y'all, the orange peels that were cooking in that balsamic vinegar and honey were absolutely divine. They were like candied orange peel, they were delicious. So I put them on top of the cod as a garnish. And then somebody had to volunteer to eat all these dishes, so I guess I volunteer myself as tribute. Hey, thanks for watching folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipes and we will see you next time. And you can catch up with Chef Adrian on social media. You can find him at Chef Adrian TV.